Let's continue with some of the best offensive performances from 2022 with the area's top wide receivers, and we had no shortage of those. Eight of them to be exact, starting with Rasheed Scott of Marion with over 1,000 all-purpose yards for the Swamp Foxes. Wilson's Zonde Butler was a 2022 Shrine Bowl participant. Evan Singletary led the charge with his speed and athleticism for South Florence. St. James's Jason Faulkner was a huge part of the Sharks game plan. There's catching a pass right there. Helping them get to the postseason for the first time since 2015. As for the rest of the list, Bryson Graves of West Florence had over 800 yards in his first full season of football, and he's going to attend Coastal in the fall. Elijah Chalmers of Marlboro County, Jake Doty of Myrtle Beach were North and South All-Star Game participants, and Lakeview's Saheed Dawkins made the All Blitz squad for the second straight year. Six offensive linemen paved the way for their guys to score and put up big numbers. They include Shafon Boyd of Andrews, Kendall Brown of Wilson, both played in the North-South game. Dylan Josiah Thompson, just a junior, received a lot of college interest from just about everyone in the SEC so far. Conway's Nathan, Nathan Thompson is headed to CCU as a preferred walk on this fall. West Florence's Josh Daniels and Dylan's Anthony Grant round out the six. Moving to the defensive line on the D-line, Savon Nichols and Justin Stutler make it back-to-back -back years on the squad. On the linebacking core, Jalen Davis of South Florence led the PD in sacks. Bernardo Parks of Carolina Forest, a big hitter in the middle for the Panthers. And Franklin Emerson of West Florence led the Knights defense in stops. All right, into the secondary we go. Myrtle Beach's Mike Gilliard was a Shrine Bowl participant. Hannah Pamplico's Josh McNeil over 100 tackles. Dylan gets Jamarion Fling on the list. Calvin Hunter of West Florence is drawing a ton of Division I offers. And a pair from Lamar. They had a good defense this year, including Juan Tony, who also played offense, and Michael McFadden, both of them ranking in the top 10 in the area in tackles. And finally, our special teams player of the year is St. James kicker and punter Daniel Deneen. He was one of four in our area selected to play in the Shrine Bowl. He booted a career best 48 yards field, a 48 yard field goal this fall. Deneen recently committed to play at Limestone later this year. And that's a wrap.